Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, just listen to that nice sound of the beach. I'm not just going to a beach. Stop being silly. Slowly fall asleep while you listen to our commentary. Is this the relaxed one? Yes. Welcome to Toscana. Toscana, 1476. Very nice countryside village. Hmm. With giant walls for some reason. Hopefully you can escape Florence and come here and start a new life as a yes. banker. Not a banker. We got to get rid of that whole money thing. No you money. saw what happened to us. Okay. Um, starting to live as an assassin. Let's go with that then. Okay, that's much safer. Sure, we're going to the Villa Auditore in Montegiorni. Montegiorni. I don't know how to say it, but... Montegiorni? Montegiorno? Montegiorno. Montegiorno. Sounds like uh, cheese or something. Yes. We're going to the land of cheese. Sure. But yeah. Uh, Buongiorno, what's his face? Ah, uh, the Patsy. Ezio's dad, his brother, owns this nice villa where you can go. Ezio. And the Patsy guy. Very the Patsy. Un palazzo più grande? There's just random guards now. Yeah, I was just gonna say, his gang is like actual guards. I guess they're all just guards in trading when there isn't a gang at first. <laughs> Sword fight, defend your family, defend their honor. Oh, by killing everyone. Something I love about the start of any fight is that they never are completely aware they're starting a fight, even though they're supposed to be the ones starting the fight. Yeah. So they'll just be like, oh, what? And we just stab them. <laughs> Oh, now you can tell he's evil. Wait, what? Was that arrows? I think so. Skill. Often confused with sorcery. Yes, they both start with S. You have no guards left. Uh, I don't know, I only saw two get killed. Oh, what? Where did these guys come from? Endless supply. Oh, yes. I oh know, Claudia is getting beaten up. It's okay, it's a good thing she can stand multiple stab wounds. Well, yeah, it's the synchronization thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love the combos, you just feel so good. But there's, there's nothing, like, they just happen, there's no actual reason for them. Yeah, but they still feel good. But yeah, whenever there's a group fight like this, just sneak up behind them and just stab them in the back. It's the easiest way to do anything. Mm hmm. It's always a one hit kill. But it doesn't always work because it just starts a combo with them because this game is kind of glitchy. Vi ringrazio, messere. Tieni la spada, Ezio. Ti ho già visto altrove. I watch you while you sleep. Sono <laughs> Mario. It's a me, Mario. Yeah. You know, from that famous game, Halo. Oh yes. Ho saputo quanto è successo a Firenze. Terribile. How did he find oil already? How much time has passed? Um, a day? I don't know. He's got spies everywhere. He's all seeing. Yeah, it's skill. Yes, not sorcery. Now we get a nice tour of the villa. Yeah, so why does this guy, how, like, how does he own the place but he's not the king or something? Because he doesn't, it's just a small like, city. It's, you don't become the king of a city. Yeah, but nobody owns a city. Yeah, you do. You own the property of the city. Or is this like feudal times? There's like a lord that just like runs the place. Well, it's a manor and there's just a city built around it, basically. Hmm. In that way, uh, Assassin's Creed is basically Batman. How? A rich guy with lots of fancy gadgets sits in a manor and goes around solving crime vi uh, vigilantism. <laughs> Okay, Mario is Batman. No, he's like, um, he's Alfred. <laughs> okay. It makes more sense than the new Alfred they have in that new cartoon where he's like a buff, like, sailor guy. What? Yeah, how do you not have a British, like, weak old Alfred? It doesn't work. Wait, there's a new cartoon. And that's animated. Yeah, it's a 3D animated cartoon. And Alfred 
is a buff, like beastly guy. He's like a he's like a sailor. What? Why? Oh no, Alfred! How could they do that to Alfred? I don't know. No respect for the source material, I guess. Jeez, that sucks. Now I'm pretty sure "casa dolce casa" isn't a real phrase that they say. <laughs> Especially not in this time period. Do you speak Italian? Do you know? I'm pretty sure home sweet home is our own catchphrase. It's not from the 1500s. Uh, no. Now why would I come here to train? I'm just wearing these random assassin robes for no reason yeah. after all. Just going around assassinating people and, you know. No big deal. And I just got a bunch of training from some prostitutes. I don't really get, you can teach me anything new. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we kind of spoiled this, but I don't think it was ever really that subtle. Giovanni is an assassin. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. So your older brother, was he an assassin? Maybe. It's a really dull into. That was probably what his job was. He worked as an assassin. <laughs> yeah, he just goes around killing people. Yeah. But no, Giovanni wanted to leave the whole assassin thing behind. Keep his family out of it. Oh, he did? Yeah. You can find out more about this in, uh, <clears throat> in a short called Assassin's Creed Lineage, where it's a live-action movie about Giovanni. Oh, yes, yes. And we get to use the store for the This is how time. you buy stuff. Remember you asked what we can buy? We can buy lots of armor and weapons and stuff. It's great. Florins. Florins. Go Florins. Go team. Go team go. But yeah, whenever you get new armor, it actually changes your appearance too. I always like that in games when they do that. Now they give you a lot of other weapons you can use and such, but... I honestly, I prefer the hidden blade for much anything. Maybe I'll use the sword if need be, but... Yeah, I only ever use the hidden blade. Or maybe a sword too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can take big things like axes, and you can steal lances from enemies, that kind of thing. But I don't know, it just never struck me as necessary. Yeah, you can use medicine to heal yourself too, which is always nice. Casa dulce casi. Are, do you even kind of speak <laughs> Italian? <Spanish? laughs> That's Italian. It's dolce. Anybody should know that, even if they don't speak Dul any language. It's dulce in Spanish. It's dulce. It's, it's dulce. If you're if you're um, Spanish Spanish, but if you're Mexican Spanish, it's dulce. Hmm. Of course, you like the lazy version of Spanish. Mexico is what? Mexican is not the lazy version. No, you're just like the ones pronounced exactly like your version of pre pronouncing things. <laughs> Mexico is closer to Canada, so. I guess. It's basically like South Canada. Also opposite day Canada. Yes. It was your mom. Just sort of sitting there. Minding her own business. Praying for all of eternity. Yep. Salute, zio. Ho fatto quanto avete chiesto. E alla svelta, anche ben fatto. Ora, vediamo di insegnarti a combattere. No. I could just, like, Come congratulations. You spent some of my money at some local shops really fast. You're awesome. <laughs> you healed yourself even though you're at full health. Good job. And those leather greaves, they really make you look good. And bring out your eyes. Can't see your eyes because you're wearing a hood, but I assume. Yeah. Per tua madre e tua sorella. I just noticed there's like a weird point on his head, which makes it not as like awesome looking. Oh, on the hood? Yeah, on the very top, there's like a point. I don't know, guess people think he's a ghost. Oh, yes. Man, <laughs> what? Those awkward stances. <laughs> Sam, now we're in the tutorial part of the tutorial. In this tutorial part of the tutorial, we will learn how to do basic things like walk on with people. Basically, we learned a bunch of things that I never used again. What? You didn't use locking on? No, I don't like locking on. Why not? It's so useful. Ah, I just... I don't like locking on. I it keeps the camera in focus. Yeah, I don't like having the camera, like, stuck on one person. I never did use the quick step. 
Maybe that can be really useful. You don't need to use that sort of thing. Yay, learn how to quick step. Now I'm Sonic. Yay. Tutte queste storie di assassini e di templari. Sanno tanto di fantasia. Fantasy? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's the plot of the next Final Fantasy game. So it was Sonic a second ago, now it's Final Fantasy. And it was sure. Batman earlier. Yeah. Well, hey, Roger Craig Smith is in voices. Of Sonic? Yep. Pretty sure he's done Batman now. Everyone's done Batman these days. I've even done Batman. Uh, Desmond, uh, voice, Nolan North has done some Batman voices, so there's that. Nolan North, Christopher Nolan. Oh, I never used the, uh, taunt, actually. That's another thing. Yeah, these aren't really useful, are they? No. <laughs> Why don't you just kill the person? Please. Why, Why is this with you just killing everyone? If they're a guard killing me, I'm not gonna taunt them, I'm just gonna stab them. Seems like simple logic. Yeah, so you can sprint to run away from people. Good to know, right? Yeah. It's actually pretty annoying. You can get locked into fights really easily, and then you just have to, like, sprint away to get away from it. It's annoying. Yeah. Also, I like how, according to this, he would just randomly sprint around in circles while having this conversation about the Templars with his uncle. <laughs> Me. Look at that guy. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's like, please, just stop. Please. Don't kill me if I don't train you how to run away from me. Look at me vibrate. I'm going to explode. <laughs> He's like a ticking time bomb. Just wait for it. My atoms are unstable. It's going to be some massive, like, explosion. You better stop. Oh, you're making me dizzy. Oh, man. <laughs> I actually have to look away for a second. Tell me when it stops. Please. Oh. Not gonna stop. Just It'll never stop, stop already. Oh, that's better. I can go the other way. Just finish him. Yay, escape skill learned. Wasn't even an escape skill, it was just running. <laughs> now to defeat Mario. Oh, that's tough. Not. Yeah, he only takes two hits. That's if he has a mushroom. <laughs> Just jump on him. So how do you do this? You can't kill. Over and over again. Over and over. Eventually, you actually get a hit in. Yeah, you gradually win away at his health with each counter kill, and eventually you'll be able to just take him out. And that's the only way to do it. Yep. You can't just attack him? I don't know, you probably could, but then he might counter kill you. Mm, that's true. This is just the easiest way to take out anything in Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> he never sees it coming. <laughs> yeah, this actually is supposed to take place over several weeks or maybe even months, so yeah. Now it's he was fully trained. Yes. With magic. Sorcery. I mean, skills. Yes. We're going to Spain, ooh. Has, they haven't done an Assassin's Creed in Spain, have they? That'd be really cool, I like that. Oh yeah, actually. What about Assassin's Creed in space? Eh, uh, what would you do with that? Well, like futuristic Assassin's Creed with space colony. Yeah, they've already said they don't really want to do any modern Assassin's Creed games. It'd be impossible to do. We could probably do a futuristic one, though, because then you could just break yeah. the rules. Now you have space bales of hay. <laughs> no, in space you can just jump off anything and just float. You couldn't jump off them, period. Okay, well, you would just run off them. The leap of faith would just literally never end. <laughs> See you. Oh no, he's gone, suddenly. He already somehow managed to get all the way across into like a whole another continent, basically. Like he's so far away now. We <laughs> have to VA to Patsy. Mm -hmm. And we have to follow him, and we'll do that next time. See you then. Goodbye.